Hi friends, today we're going to talk about one of the biggest universities in the USA. This amazing university requires no application fee from international students and offers 100% automatic scholarship to eligible international students. You can apply with unofficial transcript. That is, you don't need to evaluate your transcript before you can use it for admission application. Many of their programs waived GRE. Most importantly, the university offers undergraduate, master's and PhD programs and have over 230 graduate programs. Guys, the list is long and I wonder the kind of program you'll be looking for that this particular university does not offer. This university is worth applying to as you don't need to pay an application fee and applying for admission qualifies you for the automatic full scholarships. Now, I'm going to show my screen to demonstrate how to apply for admission in this university. The remaining documents required for admission, I've already mentioned the unofficial transcript. I will show the different scholarships available in this university. And most importantly, demonstrate how you go about identifying your desired programs. Thank you for subscribing. I'm here to make your study abroad easier. My name is Kelechi. If you are new here, the aim of my channel is to share with you universities and colleges that offer international students automatic scholarships and require no application fee. It takes a lot of time to get this done. So I've decided to make your life easier so that people who do not have the finance to study abroad are not left behind. A lot of study abroad opportunities have been shared on this channel and feedbacks from people have been really amazing. Please guys, don't forget to hit the like button. It gets me motivated to do more valuable content for you. Subscribe and remember to turn on the notification bell so that you'll be the first to be notified whenever I post video. And you are free to leave a comment down below regarding any question pertaining to the application process. So friends, we are right inside the official website of the university. And to confirm what I stated in the beginning about the application fee, you can see that effective July 15, 2023, the $50 graduate application fee will be waived for summer 2024, fall 2024, and spring 2025 admission terms. So that is to say that if you're applying for summer 2024, summer, fall 2024, and spring 2025, you are not required to pay an application fee. Now, let us see how you go about identifying your desired programs. And before I forget, the name of the university is University of South Carolina. When you click on the degree programs, do not worry, I'm going to leave the link in the video description box down below. You scroll down, you can see the list of graduate programs. The list is very long. After the first page, you click on the second about 25 pages of graduate programs like i said in the beginning that they have over 230 graduate programs including masters and phd programs guys don't forget to click the like button so they have accountancy masters adaptive physical education masters adult gerontology aerospace engineering anthropology art studio artificial intelligence biomedical engineering biomedical sciences they have biostatistics Biostatistics, both masters and PhD, business administration, business analytics, chemical engineering, chemistry, civil engineering, clinical expert, coaching education, computer engineering, computer science, counselor education, criminology and criminal justice, cyber security, data and communication, drug, drug and addiction studies, economics, both MA and PhD, educational psychology, electrical engineering, English. Environmental Health Sciences, both Masters and PhD. They have Epidemiology, both for Masters and PhD. They have Family Nurse Practitioner. They have uh, Geological Sciences, Geography. The list is very long because of want of time. I cannot continue mentioning them one after the other. Now, let us see the available scholarships in this university. When you click on Scholarships, it will take you to the page for scholarship. As you can see right here, they have scholarship form residents and scholarship for non-residents they have departmental scholarship and non-institutional scholarship and so on and so forth let us click through the scholarship for non-residents when you click on it you can see that when you apply for admission to the university of south carolina you are automatically considered for the mary scholarship as you can see the list of mary scholarships in this university for international applicants clicking on any of them would show the monetary value you can see for stamp scholars 
annual value is approximately $196,000. And there's another one, the McNair Scholar Scholarship that is up to $184,000. And another one that is about $128,000. Let us also explore the remaining automatic scholarships to see the monetary values. You can see this one is up to $104,400. Is also an automatic scholarship. This one hundred and sixteen thousand dollars. This one eighty six thousand dollars. So clicking on any of them will show you the monetary values. Let me also mention that even though the scholarships are automatic, you have to be eligible before you can be awarded the scholarship. So you are going to be assessed by the information you put in your application form. Things like your personal statement. So the content of your personal statement need to be strong your academic cv and other application documents required by your program also the scholarship that we just explored now is for undergraduate applicants now let us move into the graduate scholarships or funding for the graduate funding if you've been watching my video for a long time now i've always talked about the form of scholarship or funding available in most canadian and usa universities so this particular university offers graduate assistantships, which you can see right here, and they are also automatic. Most assistantships are awarded at time of admission. So how it works is that there is a particular section on your admission application form where you have to indicate your interest in an assistantship, which you can see right here. You have to check the corresponding box on your graduate application to indicate your interest in an assistantship. So the assistantship is going to cover your tuition fee, stipend, and you will gain valuable teaching and research experience through the assistantships. And the types of assistantships here are instructional assistantships, teaching assistantships, research, staff, or administrative assistantships. And the graduate assistantships are usually awarded by your department. You have to contact your relevant department. Each of the program, when you click on it, you, have, you will see the contact information of that particular program. You can email them inquiring about any available assistance for that your program. Now, let us see the remaining documents you need to apply for admission. Let me also mention that the, this university have professional degree programs like Doctor of Jurisprudence, Doctor of Medicine, and Doctor of Pharmacy, and they have their different application process. And clicking on any of the link will take you to the application form for that particular professional program to see the remaining documents required for application for all departments which you can see right here required application materials for all departments so you'll be needing your bachelor's degree that is if you are going for graduate program be it masters or phd and unofficial transcripts unofficial transcripts are required to be uploaded to your application official test score if it is required by your program that is why they stated there that you have to consult your program for specific score requirements. Some of the programs waived GRE and GMAT. So you have to contact your, your relevant program before you can begin your application. The letters of recommendation, they also stated that you have to consult your program for the number of letters required. I've already talked about application fee, which you don't need to pay. Then English language proficiency, you can apply for a waiver of English language proficiency if your previous education was taught in English as an international student. In addition, to mention that you have to consult your program about further required materials such as statement of purpose, resumes, writing samples, portfolio, or license. Now, to apply for admission, you have to explore the program list to dig out your area of interest or your desired program, which I've demonstrated how to identify your desired program. I'm going to leave the link to each of the pages I visited. So take for instance, you are going for master's in accountancy. You click on that particular program. It will take you to the program web page. You can see right here, like I stated in the beginning, you have to consult your particular program to know if they require further admission documents, things like curriculum vetter. So you have to explore your desired program web page to know if they have further requirements regarding our uh, admission application then to apply you click on this link apply now every program has its specific application process so that's that's why you have to click on that particular program then move into the web page of that particular program to begin your application 
I'm just using Masters of Accountancy as an example. So the first thing you will do is to sign up, then use your username and password that you generated to log into the application portal.